So we predicted that Peru would take a lot from Brazil in the last video. Um, and, and they did. Man, oh man, did they ever take a lot from Brazil. Again, uh, like I said, leaving Brazil with like two or three provinces, that seems to be kind of a, a theme where AIs don't necessarily want to completely destroy a nation. I'm wondering if that is, I don't really know why. I thought it would maybe destroy a nation, a nation would be like the, uh, the final straw, I guess. Oh, you, you can take like a hundred provinces, but if you destroy a nation, like, oh my gosh, heaven forbid. Like, I don't know if that's actually what they're thinking. I don't know if there's a bigger dip diplomatic modifier for destroying a nation. I don't think there is. I haven't ever, uh, noticed in my own EU4 campaigns that, uh, I, I see something like that, but who knows? I don't, I don't really know, understand, but the USA have taken this opportunity to go after Mexico. Uh, they are also fighting the former Russian colony, but they have British Columbia on their side. So this will be, uh, this will ultimately lead to a front with the USA and Peru. And again, this is, it seems to be the big war that everybody is looking at. The Americans versus the massive Latin American force. Uh, now, there are a few wars going on in the world. Of course, there's always a few wars going on in the world. This is interesting. So the Austrian reconquest of Briska, they're going after Italy here, who has been struggling. The problem is that, they, <laughs> the problem is that you're fighting Italy, Prussia, and Greece. Um, Austria obviously has a lot of friends. So this is a massive continental war that's going on in Europe. Uh, Greece is finishing up their war with Bulgaria. Greece just called in Russia on their side, but uh, Bulgaria might just be no more very soon. Let's not forget that Cuba also plays a part in the Mexican imperialist war, the, Me the Mexican-American imperialist war. And then we also have South America, South Africa, I'm sorry, still attempting to make a landing in the Indian subcontinent. But anyways, uh, let's visually look at this here. This is a really, really big war. Uh, this is huge. I don't exactly know if Italy is going to survive it. I think that Greece and Prussia might have some trouble, but Italy, I think, is done here. Specifically because, well, let's see, did Naples finally, yes, look at that. Naples has finally gotten a hold over the rebels. Uh, it's taken like three videos for them to do so in, but uh, now they have all these forces rising up in southern Italy. Uh, now, in order for Naples to control or to form Italy themselves, Italy has to be destroyed. Uh, so just because I think... Technically, Naples is about to probably acquire... Actually, no, they're not, because Naples is giving up all this occupation to Austria themselves. Naples is not occupying it uh, under the Napole... Uh, I'm sorry, Napole... What is, how would you say people of Naples? Uh, Na Napoleon? I, I would imagine it's, it's not. It's definitely not, but uh, Napolitan... Anyways, uh, yes, it's it's being occupied by they're they're giving the occupations to Austria. Uh, now we'll have to wait and see how what how much Ru Norway does to Prussia. I've been waiting for a war like this. It's unfortunate, you know, the circumstances because Prussia is kind of handicapped right now. Uh, now, what Prussia really desperately needs is they need to get more friends. Uh, no one really likes Prussia, and that is the biggest issue. So Norway is able to attack from the north. Uh, Austria has all these friends. Uh, Greece is probably going to peace out Bulgaria very soon, I imagine, unless they don't care anymore, which is definitely, it's likely, Ukrainian noble rebels. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, were there any more wars? Okay, well, there have been more wars that have popped up. Japan, now at war with who? So there was a Russian war that had broken out between a couple of the minor nations along East Asia. The problem is, again, uh, Russia doesn't have regiments within this location. Uh, Russia has done this many, many times now in the campaign, where the AI kind of makes a broken decision by going to war with a nation that they uh, technically have territory next to. The problem is, ooh, so Tibet is going after Qing? Did that just break out? That must have just broke out. Oh, yeah, we didn't even make a comment about that. Uh, right now, Tibet is not winning that imperialist war, but uh, I'm sure they will at some point. Um, yeah, Russia continues to do that. They go to war with these smaller nations in East Asia. They don't have any regiment regiments over there, so they just get a bunch of their lands occupied until time goes by, and they're like, okay, I guess we lost. So they got kicked out of East Asia completely. There's still uh, small fragments of land in between Japanese and Qing territory, but uh, then Russia is just being Russia and, and normal you know, Siberia and Europe, Europe and stuff like that. Uh, they have been forced to release more and more nations. Uh, we haven't discussed the fall of Punjab. Punjab was forced to release a lot of uh, other minor countries within their territory. Uh, Kokan didn't even really take much from them. I don't think they took anything, did they? Oh, they did. Oh, they did. They took like a whole bunch of northern um, provinces that Punjab controlled. 
and then everything in the south was they, they forced to release. So there could be a new uprising power uh, within the subcontinent of India. We'll see. Depends on, I guess, kind of the alliances. And Nepal has the alliances definitely on their side. Persia is Persia is so hot right now. Like if I was Will Ferrell from Zoolander 2, or Zoolander, I should say. I guess he's going to say it in Zoolander 2. Who knows? Uh, Persia is the one that's really hot right now. Uh, Persia has the ability, because right now Greece is not look, looking like they're going to win, be too successful against this war uh, against you know all of these nations that are where they're they're at war with Egypt and, and Naples and uh, you know Austria and Norway is not going to do that much damage to them, but I mean still, uh, yeah, Egypt is actually in this territory. I wouldn't be surprised if Naples makes a landing because Naples after they after they that is after they occupy Italy that is, uh, but you know Persia is doing really really well. That's my point. Persia is doing very very well. You're going to want to be allied to Persia. Look at the alliances that Persia has. Greece, Naples, Gabon, uh, Kokand, and, and Nepal, as well as Adal. Wait, when did Adal form? Or did they get their lands back? Did Egypt lose this stuff? Or have they always been there? I, I, I thought, I don't think they had this before. Maybe they expanded more towards the Horn of Africa, though. Maybe, I don't, I, I do not know. I don't know what happened here. Anyways, uh, yeah, Prussia, Italy, and Greece, that alliance is not looking so well, not looking so good at all. Uh, all three of those nations might lose a significant amount here. We've got the Netherlands, which I believe have been banished to the Caribbean, if I'm not mistaken, uh, going after Tidor, 23 war score for their side. Japan's at zero war score so far. I didn't even check on like the visuals of what's going on there. Greece still at 99%, but they're not piecing out yet. I don't know really. I don't really know where the Greek military is. Okay, so visually, ah, uh, they're going after Min. Min. But are they going to actually land things there? That's that's the question. Are they going to actually do things? Uh, oh, that's interesting. So Spain either was forced to give up this to lands to the Philippines, or because there's no way it was. It wasn't a colony. We'd noticed that, right? Or was it? Oh, maybe it was. I might be smoking crack there. It might have been Spanish Philippines, and they finally gained their independence. Not sure when or why. It could have been a long time ago, but yeah, the Philippines have arrived. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I'd like to see Japan somewhat successful in this war. I, I'd like I like seeing this like massive force that that Japan is starting to build up by you know 1984. Uh, oh, it's 1984, July 1st, 1984. There you go. Kind of a horrible world, I, w I would say. I mean, you have quite a few great powers. And it, you know what's unfortunate? Oh, also, did oh, the USA peace out with Mexico, but they didn't take anything. Oh, they did. They took like three provinces away, but they didn't get the uh, – they did not capture that, that border with Peru that is so desperately needed if we want to see this new world massive war that would go down. Uh, we'll probably also check over the ledger in the next video. It's been quite a long time since I checked the ledger, so uh, I will keep that in mind, and we'll probably do that. Uh, I didn't realize Nepal is at war and involved – uh, with Koken and Japan. And I guess they're trying to protect Mean and Thailand and stuff like that. Uh, Japan's at two war score. The Austrians are at 27. Yeah, that is going to be pretty significant. Oh, Greece is no longer uh, at like super like 99 war score. They're only at 11 now. And I'm, I'm guessing that's because of the Egyptians and the way the Egyptians have uh, made progress in eastern Greece. I guess southeastern Greece. Yeah, because they're going all the way for Greek lands. And I'm thinking the military has been focused on pushing back the Egyptians, not too worried about Bulgaria. Uh, Bulgaria was able to unoccupy their own lands and then go after the Balkan states. Oh, but Russia's here. I didn't think about that. Now, Russia is only involved in the war against Bulgaria, not involved in the war against Egypt. So maybe this is actually a very smart idea for the Greek AI to focus on the Egyptians and let the Russians handle the Bulgarians. Uh, that would That would be a very, very smart choice. Uh, again, so I guess Norway is really nothing to be messed with right now because, I mean, they're doing okay. They're not doing amazing. I, I know they have. Where did the regiments go, actually? I have no idea. It's a huge stack of uh, Prussians and Italians trying to hold on to this stuff. Does Russia, re I'm sorry, does Austria really need these lands, though? I mean, they're a little bit greedy. It's a little bit of a greedy decision, I think, on my, uh, on my in my opinion. Very greedy of them. Oh, this is where the Netherlands are at. That is right. And uh, let me just make sure that they are going. So wait, where is their war? Uh, I do not see the nation they're at war with. I It must be an island. An island nation. Ah, it is. Ah, okay, there we go. Very, very small island nation. Okay. 
Just wanted to make sure. Hey, Hawaii is still around, and I believe Hawaii is still independent. That is, yes, Hawaii is still Hawaii. Who do they have a good relationship with? Not the USA. Just wondering about that. Okay. So I'm wondering if Peru is going to clean up their borders at some point. I mean, let's see when the truce ends with Brazil. April 1998. Wow. Okay. Uh, right now, I believe, I forgot about the Netherlands-controlled lands here. Uh, I think Peru is cool with the Netherlands, right? For some reason, they are. I don't know if they're going to be like that for much longer. And this is... Wait a second. Whoa! When did Peru get involved with Austria? I'm I'm very confused here. What? Where? So Peru is in war at at war with Italy, Prussia, and Greece. Oh, they're on Austria's side. Well then, but why? Who it is? Oh, this is Prussia. This is Prussian lands. When did Prussia get this province? I was so confused because these these colors were so similar. But yeah, Austria controls this province that Prussia has inside of northern South America. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, obviously these nations are not doing so well. Uh, and again, unfortunately for Prussia and Greece, they're unable to call in their own alliances because this was a war for Italy. And Italy doesn't really have that many friends. They didn't have that many friends. I think Italy's dead now, so I don't... So they... Yeah, let's, let's talk like past tense, I'm guessing. Past tense would be best right now. Uh, Netherlands at 21 war score. We've got Japan at 4, slowly creeping up. South South Africa still, once again, not doing so well, trying to go after the uh, Indian countries. Uh, and actually, I'm surprised to see Tibet with such low war score. Oh, and uh, Bulgaria has been eaten. Uh, thanks to Russia. You should really agree. Send a big old thank you card to Russia. Bulgaria is now to one province. Uh, Greece is trying their best to hold back the Egyptians. Uh, they've got a 70 stack, but that is certainly not enough. I'm, I'm waiting to see what Persia does next. Like I said, Persia's the one that's real hot right now. Who is this guy that formed? Oh, okay. I was just wondering. So maybe we might see the return of Qing. It's possible. Although where is the Qing forces at? Not entirely sure where they're at. Uh, and why is, well, Kogan's going after and, tr after and trying to support their friend, uh, the Japanese. But is it just the Japanese that are involved? Oh my gosh, huge stack, 58 stack. Where did they get this much manpower? Well, luckily their alliance is, is starting to make it, make it over here. So Japan might be saved somewhat, but that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I don't think Japan really ever had that many forces. They've gotten pretty lucky as of the last few wars. Uh, obviously, you know, we did discuss that they are Westernized now, but, I don't think in terms of, like, force limit, it was ever that high. I don't think it could have been. I I doubt it, at least. Uh, when is the truce up with the USA? 1992. Okay, we checked on that. So there's still seven more years. Um, now, I believe the USA could technically go to war with Peru. Um, they could also... Oh, wait, no. This, this is also a truce. 1990. So the USA can go to war with the Alaska... Um, in 1990, only five years, but but for the most part, the Americans are going to have to be limited to uh, sub-Saharan Africa if they want to expand their borders anymore. Maybe going after Naples, which would be entertaining. The problem is that Naples has some pretty good alliances, uh, and Peru being one of them means you really don't want to, to do that. You really don't want to mess with that. Naples is very, very smart for getting at that alliance of Peru because they know that Naples can now can, you know, feel very safe about their territory in North Africa because the Americans will never t attack them. The Americans won't want to get themselves involved in arguably a much greater power. Also surprised that Gavin hasn't, you know, done anything. These forces all surrounding Egypt, which is incredible. It's almost like a coalition against Egypt that the African nations had kind of formed. And uh, Egypt, it, it, and it's worked. It's worked. To bet at negative 16 war score, we've got Austria at 43. Man, man, oh man, Austria might take a whole bunch here. It is possible. They could grab a whole bunch of their land back. Uh, Egypt obviously has no intention of taking away um, eastern Greece for themselves. They are once again giving those occupations up to Austria themselves, uh, as well as Norway and all the progress that they're making. Ooh, some Polish separatists have uh, risen up in eastern Prussia. I, I got to give Prussia some credit, though. I mean, hey, they're at least still fighting. They're still fighting. Oh, is Belgium involved? I had no idea Belgium was involved. 
Yeah, I mean, with a force like this, it's it's going to be almost impossible to to withstand something like. Oh, I didn't realize that Prussia was allied to Hungary. Oh, they just picked up that alliance, huh? I think they did. For the most part, I thought Prussia was pretty uh, friendless. For the most part, I, I, I thought they didn't really have much of any friends. My sword going after Deacon. I don't know why Deacon hasn't lost everything. This country has been at war for several several videos now, and but they haven't really lost that many provinces, which is strange. Uh, I'm guessing there's a truce here with this nation. Actually, no, because they were per, per, uh, Persia was not the nation to force Punjab to release uh, these guys. Yeah, so they could go to war with them at any point. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. Um, as I'm, oh, we should, we should I'm sorry, I, I'm so confused. Yes, there is no truce uh, with Persia that they have. And Egypt somewhat slowing down here. Excuse me. Uh, somewhat slowing down in their progress of Eastern Greece. Seems like either they're losing manpower, or they're losing regiments, something. Russia now going after Kurland. I'm guessing that might be someone from the south. Uh, Japan now in negatives in the war score. Austria very dangerously close, getting up to 50 war score. Um, who exactly is Russia going to war with? Ah, and, and grabbing more access to the Baltic Sea would be pretty pretty smart of them to do. Um, now, Russia and their alliances, they're not really allied to much. Norway, with their massive alliances, could probably take on Russia. I, I would say it would, it would be somewhat safe for them if they really wanted to, to take on Russia. Forget about Mar War. That was also released. The USA now going after Revolutionary France. Um, Revolutionary France being allied to Serbia, the Netherlands, and Nova Zealandia. I believe that is in New, yes, New Zealand. Yes, it is. Uh, so this is this is war that I think the Americans just wanted to go to war with somebody, and uh, they wanted to pick up more than likely French Cote Nord, I think. And and that's obviously going to be a big pickup for them. Three provinces, uh, not not necessarily a big pickup for them, but it's it's easy land, so why not? That's probably what they were thinking. So they're going to go after them. Uh, I think the Americans. They do not have a truce with, with Cuba, so I'm surprised they didn't attack there. Remember, the Americans tried to go after the British West Indies. They weren't successful there. Neither were the uh, Peruvians, though. It's hard, though, to land on, on an island-based nation like that. I mean, that's going to be difficult almost every single time. But uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Very interesting campaign. We're going to check the ledger. We're going to see exactly who is winning the numbers game because, uh, you know, I don't think it's – we can't necessarily – we could do the eye test – the eye test says, you know, maybe Peru, USA, Russia. Uh, I, I, I want to say Persia would be kind of a, a surprising. I think they'd be pretty high up there. Uh, Norway might be one. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.